Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richie Plunker here from the Poppinum Geek, and today, guys, we're unboxing the HyperX Cloud Revolver Gaming Headset by Kingston. So let's take a closer look at it. So taking a closer look at the headset, the Revolver is compatible with PC, Xbox One, PS4, Wii U, Mac, and mobile. So pretty much um, any sort of mobile gaming device, you can actually use this headset because it uses those three prongs, which we'll take a closer look soon. Uh, on the back, I uh, have a bit more features of the actual headset itself. Uh, 50 millimeter drivers, durable steel frame as well, which is pretty cool. Suspension headband, which I think is also really interesting that they've gone with, as well as um, signature memory foam with the sort of leatherette feel. So let's unbox this baby. So removing the sleeve, we've got this nice HyperX logo here. Let's remove the top cover. Uh, like all cloud headsets as well, we've got congratulations for joining the HyperX team, uh, which is also very nice and um, you know, it has a little bit of information there about uh, the general HyperX um, and just really a thank you letter, which is always nice seeing that inside the box. A bit more foam here. Uh, some manuals, a little bit of instructions how to actually use the headset itself. So the headset itself, as always, nicely packaged by the guys over at HyperX. Over here, we've got our three prong to sort of headphone and mic adapter, which is also very handy. So you've got your microphone jack there, as well as your headphone jack, which actually then converts it to a three prong. So you can actually use this, it's quite handy, a uh, little accessory which you can use in all um, headphones as well. Uh, you've got a nice little volume rocker there, as well as a mute function, which you know is handy. So let's move the headset out of the box, as you can see here, let's put this to the side. And then what else is inside the box is just a microphone boom mic, which we'll take a closer look right now. So taking a closer look at the boom mic that comes inside the box, as you can see here, it's very different to the HyperX Cloud microphone, which came originally with the headset. Uh, this is actually noise cancellation as well, which is very handy, especially when gaming in a loud background noises or teammates or anything like that. But in my full review, I have some sound samples of the microphone itself. So this doesn't need any explanation at all, but basically the boom pole just attaches to the headset itself. Uh, it isn't flexible, so it doesn't actually go up or down in a way, but however, we can bring it away and closer to our mouth. So that's when the actual adapter over here comes in handy as we can actually um, mute and unmute the sound as well as control the overall volume of the headset. So taking a closer look at this accessory adapter which comes with the Cloud Revolver headset, it features a mute function up the top here and on the side you have your volume rocker which you can control uh, your overall volume of the headset. As well, you've got a nice little clip here which you can clip to your t-shirt, jacket, or wherever you actually uh, tend to use this. Now, just a reminder, this is an analog adapter, not a USB adapter, which we saw in the previous Cloud 2 headset. Now, I assume later down the track in the next version of the Cloud Revolver, they would actually release a 7.1 USB interface with that. However, if you already have the Cloud 2 headset, and you already have that adapter, you can actually just straight away plug your headset into there. However, this is really handy to have as you know you can actually use any of your other three-prong headsets with this adapter, with your PC or Mac or anything like that. So taking a closer look at the ear cups themselves, one thing I thought I'd point out first is this grill over here isn't an LED, it's actually just a you know red colored grill. Uh, however, in the box art, it actually does make it look like uh, LEDs, however, it is not. I thought uh, I'd just like to point that out. As well, the ear cups themselves are fairly, I mean, they do feel a bit hollowy plastic, but you are surrounded with metal plating as well, like with the headband itself. I think it's really cool what HyperX did with the metal framing of the headset. However, it does have its cons, which I'll cover in the full review. Now, what's also really pretty impressive is the suspension headband, which we have here, which I think HyperX did a pretty good job on it, uh, given that the price of the headphone themselves are only $150. Taking a look inside the ear cups, we've got this nice leatherette um, memory foam padding, which I can definitely say is really incredibly comfortable, especially in combination with the headband itself. It really feels like the headphone is just 
sort of lightly sitting on your head. Now this does contain 50 millimeter drivers, which do sound incredible, especially with its slightly premium sound, I would say, than the original cloud headphones. The Hybrid Cloud Revolver headset will be hitting shelves next month, so be sure to check out my full review in the coming weeks. Anyway guys, I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. If you did like this video, make sure to subscribe for the full review of the HyperX Cloud Revolver. As well, leave a comment down below on what you want me to focus in the full review. Also, leave a comment down below on what gaming headset you're currently using and why. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Oh,